Addis and Brussels are extremely important, which shaped my point of view of art. My new work have a lot of influences because Brussels is a very chaotic and dynamic city at the same time. As an artist, I feel like a more contemporary cave artist. I don't remember when, when I was not an artist, I loved always art and going to art school was one of the most beautiful thing happened. It was for me a romantic time, even though we didn't have luxurious space. While we were studying drawings or painting, they were leaking waters from the top. We didn't have oil paint or we didn't have canvas and the teachers in order to make us survive and work. They used to tell us to work on old canvases which are used by other artists. You have to recycle them and paint and work. Subconsciously, there were things start to develop, like not only what is painted was important for me, but at the same time, what kind of texture you get on those paintings. And now in my work in the painting, it's not only what is painted, but the cracks, the holes are as important as the image itself in my work. The canvas is extremely important because it's a support where it keeps the paint, you have the primer, you have the varnish. For me, I tried to create a challenge a physical and mental challenge by using very old or rejected from amateur or from Sunday painters or something I find it in the street and I kind of recycle it or I interact with the image in order to give it a new life. When you look at the works they have an heavy textures, layers, which reflects I think the social condition of humans or nature and at the same time histories. In my research, I'm deeply inside oil painting, especially. And for me, oil painting, they never met for the first time in Renaissance. I believe that they met in the cave. My inspiration comes more from social interaction. I was working for uh, many years in this telephone booth, which I interact with anonymous people. I try to leave a mark, it can be a dot or a circle or a zigzag, but I try to interact and develop certain kind of language of mark making. And at the end when you see the piece, you will notice the marks they leave, they can, can be their hair or their dust or the unseen. Everything melts together and builds up a kind of a contemporary cave painting, I can say. As an immigrant here in Belgium, I can interact with endless immigrants. At the same time, you know, as art by itself is a kind of nomad. It never stops somewhere. It's always changing and moving and transforming. There is something which fits as an artist when you are becoming immigrant, I think. My work before was more figurative and well composed. And now, the more I get older, I think the work is getting very raw. I'm gaining more rawness and also it's very physical or it's very rough. It looks a little bit like the, you know, the time we live in, I think, I hope.